was good everybody this is ramen on wheels yeah yeah ramen on wheels and today i'm talking about rush hour traffic uh so let's get it you heard me right rush driver traffic riding your scooter in rush hour traffic this is just some points i want to talk on like in my last video uh the questions random strangers come up to me ask about my scooter i mentioned this i talked about how uh in the best times to ride rush hour traffic and some of the things i was saying like some of the best times to ride are like when traffic's extremely heavy and you can't move like your bumper to bumper or or if uh, I think we'll go right or if traffic is uh, pretty much scarce no one's around that's the only time what I was saying specifically highways so if you're riding on the highway on your scooter only ride when there's no cars around or it's so heavy you're pretty much not moving so i got to thinking uh you see this hazards ahead like i'm supposed to go around this these two little cones no and that's the part of the whole rush hour traffic the topics i'm going to talk about so when it comes to riding rush hour traffic some of the pointers you need to pay attention to is first off hazards in the road I can't tell you. I'm not talking about little uh, bumpies, blah, 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 kind of hazards. I'm talking about the kind, like, potholes aren't even the word for it. Just complete sink in. Like, I, I was driving on the road. Lucky I was in my car and I was on the, uh, like, my wheels went, like, in the middle of it. Well, no, it went underneath the car. So, neither of my tires touched it. But I'm talking about a whole soap okay a hole so big that if i would have hit that with my scooter hands down let me fix this camera right here hands down i would have went flying there's no doubt about it like it just dipped like a giant hole just went straight through i want to make this light hold on i would have hit it the city no i wouldn't make it let me make it let me make it let me okay green is go but i can only go if they're not going go go before my light turn red go go people no it's gonna turn red on me no i think i can make it after this white yep thank you but it was so deep if i would have hurt uh hit it hands down i would have been seriously injured without a doubt I don't care what kind of gear I was wearing. I would have been injured. My, my scooter probably would have been totaled everything. Also in rush hour traffic, because cars are so close to each other, because cars are so close to each other, you might be tempted to lane split, which is illegal at least here in the state of Texas. So you might be tempted to be like, yo, watch this. Go right around them, right? Especially in Texas, they have the worst drivers. Do not lane split because people make spontaneous decisions. You're like, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can go around them real quick. As soon as you try to go around them, a car will jump out trying to jump into a new lane and then bop, that's you. That's that's all your neck meat, all your head meat caved in. Sorry being so graphic, but I'm just being straight up 100. In rush hour traffic, you have to make sure people see you, have to. Like traffic like this, barely cars around. I don't care if the car next to me or right behind me. Can you see the car behind me? I don't know. I don't care if they don't see me because uh, they're not that close up on me. Yeah, I'm talking about you, but uh, I don't care if they see me. However, rush hour traffic, there's too many cars around. Everybody's in a rush. Everybody thinks their time is more precious than everybody else and that they are the only people who have places to go, people to see, things to do. So. They will jump out, swerve, cruise, speed, anything they can to get ahead of the next person. So, you gotta make yourself known. Uh-oh, what time is it? What time is it? Blow some horns time! Woohoo! Blow some horns! I haven't 
start blowing horns in a minute. Uh, the light is red. The light is red, so I'm gonna do a little pause time. Play. It's time to play. It's time to play the game. Anyway, rush hour track is what I was speaking on. I, 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 I don't really get a lot of, okay, here's the thing. Rush hour traffic, Houston, it's a huge city. I think it's the third or fourth largest city in the United States. Of course we get rush hour traffic. However, you, oh, I can't, I shouldn't do this. Cause if I go down this straight street and I don't pay attention where I'm going, I'm going to get lost. So what I'll do, I'll just go straight, then make a loop around and come back the other way. Yes, I'm just out riding about, driving through the town, driving through random neighborhoods, just checking out the scenery just to talk to you guys. Oh, but what I'm trying to say is Houston, of course, rush hour traffic, er day, all day, er day, not every day, but er day, er day, all day, rush hour traffic, son. Usually the times I, oh, police behind me. <gasps> I'm being followed by the popo. Uh oh. I might actually get stopped by the po. Let me not speak that into existence. I might actually get stopped by the police, son. At least I get it on camera. Okay, which way I'm gonna go? Statistically, they say when you're lost, that uh, people are lost or on. Oh, snap! Another police officer. When you're lost, that people naturally go to the left. Is he still following me? Nope. Oh, he was the constable. Okay, you see, I, I was just going to go straight and make a loop around, but the cops, I felt like he was following me. So that's why I end up making some turns, but I believe I know where I, c I can get back. So let me, let me go, go back around. There's two police officers. Okay, so he wasn't following me. He was coming. Here's the thing about constables. They're not like regular police officers, huh? Two police cars. Precinct 7. What go down here? I'm being nosy right now. Okay, so. Oh, I'm going to fall. Okay, so you missed it, but there was a cop that walked from this car just now and walked to this house right here. Somebody called a popo. You know what? Let me leave before shots fired. Look, neighbor across the street being nosy, just like me. I don't even live in this neighborhood, but you know. Should I make a right? No, don't do that. Stop being nosy. Okay, I'm going to make a right just for you guys. Okay turn my side body is this illegal i don't know okay okay they went in the house they not that no more okay i was trying to get some hot stuff for you guys but i can't what if there was a cop in the car i wasn't even paying attention there might have been a cop sitting in the car i become a suspect they say that the 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 criminal always come back to the scene of the crime right let me leave before i actually get myself in trouble see you guys got me out here doing things i ain't supposed to be doing Let's see if the cop was actually in the car though. Okay, first car, nobody's in it. Second car, no one's in it. We're good. No one took down my license plate. It's not like they'll put up anything dirty on me. <laughs> I'm a good girl. <laughs> wink, wink. Okay, so I kind of lost track of what topic I was talking about. So I'm gonna catch you guys later. Uh, still thinking about what the next video I'm gonna do. I got an idea, a rough idea, but it's not completely there at 100%. But, as always, I'll see you guys later. <sighs> Shauna, this girl right here. Ramen, this scooter right there. We out. Shauna Ramen is out. Catch you guys later. Deuces. I got five on it. I'm about to go see that movie, Us. You guys are gonna see that movie, Us? It seems like it might be scary. I got five on it. Ah, yeah, yeah, get it. I got five on it. Uh, uh, uh. I got five on it. I'm out. Bye.